Pobitora Wildlife Sanctuary is situated in the Brahmaputra Valley, surrounded by unique rivers, hills, wetlands, grasslands, and forests makes the sanctuary evergreen. Nature with an extraordinary combination of beauty with a grace is found in this place. Pobitora witnessed a great history of wildlife conservation in Mayang, which has its own glorious culture. Pobitora is located in the western border of Morigao district which is about 50 kilometers away from Guwahati, the capital of Assam. Povitora, which has the world's highest density of the 100 rhinoceros, was declared as a reserve forest with an area of 15.90 square kilometer on 18th November 1971. The area covering Razamayang Hill and some other areas was declared as Pobitora Wildlife Sanctuary with the help of local people and government patronage. More than 100 rhinos are raining on the vast lands of Pobitora now. Whereas in 1971, just 12 rhinos roamed. According to the census of 2022, there are 107 rhinos in Pobitora. Buffaloes, jungle cat, wild boar, civet cat, different species of turtles can be seen in Pobitora. Grasslands comprises around 66.90%, wetlands 14.66%, woodland 18.44% in Pobitora. Pobitora surrounds around a total area of 38.81 square kilometer. The grasslands comprises more than 15 species of grasses. Among them, wild can, ravenna grass, common reed, wild sugar can, elephant grass, whip grass, Bermuda grass are the main grass species. These grasses are the main food for rhinoceros. The rhinos of Pobitora consume 32 naturally available plant species as food. Out of these, 15 species of grasses, 4 species of shrubs, 8 species of trees and 5 species of aquatic plants. The forest comprises of 3 types of plants evergreen, semi-evergreen, and deciduous. This combination has made Pobitora beautiful. Brown albizia, silk cotton tree, freshwater mangrove, giant crab, mytel, big wood, Indian red wood, jujube, dye fig, people tree, iron wood tree are the main plant species. The beauty of woodlands in the inner part of Pobitora has been enhanced by the varieties of orchids that breed on the branches of different trees. Many rare birds can be seen on the branches of trees. A 
around 23 water bodies give life to the biodiversity of Pobitora. There are many aquatic plants growing here. The biodiversity of Pobitora has been further diversified by 23 species of mammals, 27 species of reptiles, 9 species of amphibians, 41 species of fishes, 80 species of butterflies and many more wildlife and plants. Another attraction of Pobitora are the different species of local and migratory birds. The migratory birds coming, especially in winters, give an unique dimension to the water bodies of Pobitora. These birds come every year, crossing thousands of kilometers during the fog cover of the winters. Some of these migratory birds are falcated duck, greater white fronted goose, common cell duck, common poachard, red crested poachard, northern sovelar, northern pintail, mallard. Spotbill duck, gargini, bar-headed goose, grele goose. Almost 385 species of local and migratory birds are identified in Povitora. Spring summer, the colorful flowers of trees attracts different species of birds. Monsoon comes with a change in the season. The grass gets sown again after receiving the rains. The rivers and the wetlands, which are dried, are filled with water. After the water is filled in the water bodies, different species of fishes, turtles get a new life. Grasses, tree leaves, forest, gradually turn colorful with green. As the rains continuously pour in during the monsoon season, the rivers and the wetlands are filled with water. The water level of Brahmaputra increases and floods Pobitora, with the fresh waters in the water bodies, different species of fish lay eggs and breeds. The seeds of different trees swept away by the flood waters naturally establish their position in new areas. This is the storyline of the flora and the fauna that has been enriching the biodiversity of Pobitora. The animals of Pobitora fearlessly roaming in and around the Greenlands. Mm -hmm.